Welcome back to the Ghost Key. I am Gray, and today we have the Finnish League Kill Final for you. Some fucking how we made it here. So, we got a little lucky, because apparently, like I said, the, the, the third place in our group qualifies, and that's where we landed. So, here we are. We have a chance to win this fucking thing. Um, I do pretty well in finals. Not to toot my own horn or anything of that nature, but, uh, I tend to do pretty well, I might, I might say. So, um, yeah. Ah, uh, no. Wait. There we go. Um, we have no, we just, this is just a fucking, whatever you want to call it. Not really a scrub, uh, goalkeeper, but, yeah. The game, actually, you know what I am going to do. I am going to look, uh, at our... Uh, at our uh, under 19 squad and just take a look see if we get anything yeah fully decent all right you're fucking terrible <laughs> um ah jesus i'm pretty sure we're gonna lose this match oh monsalve is the way on uh whatever you want to call it international duty so there's that how good are you are you just you're fucking better than that other guy, so... We'll just go with this person that's not really a person. Or a player. If that makes sense. But anyhow, um... I think we're gonna go with this. I think. I think, I think, I think. I do. Um, I tend to do pretty well in finals, though. But, um... We are at a massive disadvantage without having our first choice goalkeeper look at all these fucking injuries we got i picked up like fucking three of them in the last match too i'm pretty pissed off about that actually it kind of irritated me a little bit i mean it was just a fucking friendly too and it's like hey we're just gonna fucking injure all you guys for you i'm like oh, okay that's fine that's cool we're okay with that fucking not but anyhow um it leaves us it leaves us here really um, we really don't have, like I said, any real, um, any real talent to fucking field this time out. So we're just gonna have to freaking deal with it. So, anyway, I'm not, like I said, I don't have the highest hopes here. I mean, all I want is to at least go out there and not lose by like six goals, which is, in all honesty, likely to happen. But... Yeah, we'll do what we can, I guess, right? Um, we'll have a Bachman in the box, the box. Ooh, a Wusu. We still got a Wusu. Well, fuck. We might be able to... Uh, wait, no. I'll shut the hell up, I was going to say. Oh, right, yeah, we'll put you over there in that other position and... Uh, in that other position in the other central midfield spot. And we'll just go with this. I think that's our, um... I think that's really our best shot here. Um... Unfortunately. So... Well, that being said, we'll put Nisukangas in there. A Rins they should probably take with us as well. You know, with our luck, we'll probably have some guys get injured here. So, uh, yeah, you're not what I thought you were. Hananin's on his way back, though. That'll be much appreciated, hopefully. Hopefully. Maybe we can use some, uh, some added depth up front. Or just added depth, period. Honestly, I mean, I really kind of, like I said, with Monsalve, I didn't really, uh, expect him to be gone. So I thought it was just he was just only gonna be gone for one match, but it was like two matches. So yep, we're screwed there. Um, yeah, yeah. Eventually, this sort of thing won't be a much of a problem for us. You know, people being away on international duty and shit like that will be all right. We won't really have to worry about it too much. Um, I mean, we'll. As we get better players and all that good stuff, we'll we'll do all right in terms of um, you know having enough people theoretically. Um, 
All right, that's uh, yeah, go out there and make them happy, I guess. Go out there and flop. It's pretty much what what we're saying here. So that being said, I need to turn down my computer. There we go. Now it's not super duper loud. Let's see if we can actually get something going here in this match. We are in that god awful yellow today too. Good God. Ugh, I really need to go and change that. But we don't play in it, honestly, all that often, but since they're in white, we kind of are forced into it, so. Oh, boy. Um. So, yeah, um, quite honestly, I'm pretty sure we picked the wrong team talk to start this match. It's usually not one that I kind of, that I use. It's a kind of, uh, Oof. Kind of a little more subjective as to how we're playing right now. Shit like that. Um. Uh, I always hate when that happens when they actually get in the way of that. And it goes fucking. You know, flying back there. I have had it happen a couple of times with the goalkeeper. I've had. had, I've, had ugh. I've had the opposing goalkeeper do that. When my players get in the way and kind of block the ball off. But, uh. Not very often. Not as often as I would like. Um, the thing I'm really afraid of is all these long shots. I have a feeling that's probably how we're going to get beat. If we are going to get beat. Because obviously we don't have a normal goalkeeper. And we're really not that strong in goal anyway. So, I mean, if they shoot anything with half... You know, that's halfway decent from any range. I mean, we're going to be something like that. I mean, it's if they put any sort of venom on that sort of shot, I think we're... I think we're done for, quite honestly, because I don't see us really... Uh, I don't see us coming from behind in any in any facet. I think this is kind of one of those things where we need to stay ahead if we have a chance and not have bad passes like that. Dude, Jesus. Good Lord. Alright, oh boy. See, yep, and there's the first. Woo! Oris makes a save. Mega Ruby off a of Sapphire. How sad is it that I'm fucking referencing that there, but anyway. This is what's to say. We left three guys right there. Three guys right up here unmarked pretty much. I don't know how we didn't fucking pay the price there. Not really just gonna fucking put a body on somebody. But anyhow, um, I may switch the formation a little bit later. The tended, tended seemed to have quite a good effect earlier um, in the previous match. But we'll see. Um, that's something that I usually try to stay away from with these... Not really low-level teams, but low-talent teams. Um, but like I said, it kind of worked last time, and we'll see how it goes. Maybe we'll get to the second half where things are just not going well and we'll just decide to fucking change it up and see where we go from there. Usually this is the formation that I will roll out in things like this and, and finals and shit like that. Um, however, um, like domestic competition and shit like that eventually won't be that big of a deal and we'll be able to just kind of stick to our, our uh, normal formations and and whatnot so um like i said we'll see we'll see how it goes we'll see how the match goes from here and, and how well we defend if we oh oof. see and this uh, see that's that's one thing that kind of irritates me like uh, I, I haven't I haven't messed with it enough, but like a lot of players, I mean, you have the ability to call players, or not call players, but recall players from uh, international duty. I don't do it hardly ever, um, for the reason being, uh, it I, honestly, that's part of the game that I've never dicked with. I've never messed with that part, and so I'm really kind of afraid as to how um, they'll react, especially now, like at the low level. I mean, that right now, since we have no, um, no, what do you want to call it, uh, um, reputation ourselves, eh, we got some stuff going, oh, terrible shot from a really tough angle, though, so I can't really, can't really fault him too much there, but, um, 
yeah, like I said, I haven't really messed with recalling players from international duty yet. Like I said, right now is probably not the time to start dicking with that anyway. Even though I see that they get recalled for like friendlies and shit, or called up for friendlies and stuff, which to me, I don't understand why sometimes the game does that. I mean, it'll call fucking everybody up for friendlies, and it's like, seriously? I mean, they really like to go with their first team as often as possible. I mean, they don't vary it up at all. You would think for friendlies that they would, you know, vary it up, try other players out. But, you know, like I said, I mean, you'll see, I've got, you know, um, you know, world-class players and guys that, you know, have like 40, 50 caps and shit like that. And then they're still calling them up for friendlies. And it's like, seriously, you need them for a fucking friendly? I mean, that's, you know, I mean, I understand if a friendly is like close to your competition, like the World Cup or whatever, and you're getting ready to get into that. I get that. That's cool. But like when they're just regular one-off friendlies here and there and they're all fucking calling people up, it gets a bit annoying because it's like you don't really need him to be called up for a friendly. I don't think some of those players, quite honestly, should be called up for friendlies once they start establishing themselves as regulars in the in the international uh, side. But that's just my personal opinion. I mean, I mean, I don't know. Like I said, it seems sometimes that's something too. Like I've, I've wondered. Like, okay, I'm sitting here thinking, like, how do some of these clubs, you know, some of like the world, you know, the the world renowned clubs, you know, oh, fucking Robbie, you little bitch, you know, those world renowned clubs like you know Barcelona and shit. Like, I will literally have all my players called up. Like, I I, I will be reduced to playing my scrub my scrub under 19s because all my players are being called up to international competitions or like i said friendlies fucking friendlies you know i don't that i don't get like i said that that gets a little frustrating sometimes and we obviously will well not obviously but we will eventually encounter that sort of shit and it's it's i don't know like i said i mean it's it's irritating because it's like how how do clubs deal with this sort of shit because, I mean, I've never heard of that sort of thing happening in the real world. At least, especially, like like I said, especially with friendlies. I mean, you don't see, you know, all of Spain's best players called up for every single friendly they have. But that's just me being a bit annoyed. Me being a bit of a dick. Like I said, I mean, I would never pull a player from, you know, the World Cup. Ooh. Oof, that was our chance right there, too. I mean, I would never pull a player from the World Cup and, you know, Euro Championships, shit like that. Like, I get that. That's fine. I mean, if you're going to be gone for, you know, that sort of competition, that's okay. But those things only come around, you know, once every four years, every two years, because they alternate, really. But, I mean, it, like I said, that's the way I kind of feel about it. But, I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's just something that's broken. I just fucking want to bitch about it. But, anyhow, I'm past the fucking ball, dude. Thank you. Shit. Scaring me and stuff. Ooh. Man, terrible first touch. That first touch took him out of the path of, you know, away from a goal, good goal scoring opportunity, honestly. That still go down as a clear cut chance, but I mean, shit, the passing's pretty good, though. It took us a while to start warming up. Oh, oh, say, you're just a man of my boys right now. Shit. He's doing everything but finish at present. And that seems to be a fucking case with him. It's kind of getting a little irritating. Just a little bit. I think it's the... Um... Ooh, that's one thing. I should mention this in, in the game. It, it's not as much of a problem here in FM14 as it was in FM12. Oh, yes! First fucking goal. Nice. But, um... Oh, when players chase down 50-50 balls, um, I don't, there's there's been some times where you still kind of saw it there where Bachman kind of pulls up and doesn't really run after the ball or chase it down, things like that. Um, okay, why did we not get the kickoff there? That was strange. But anyhow, you, you, you used to see a lot of shit like that back in the day. Not so much anymore. Um, like I said, in this one, they kind of they kind of get rid of that. You see it once in a while, kind of like that, but it's not as bad as it used to be. It used to be real bad, where a player would just like walk to the ball, and then somebody would just like run up from behind him and just fucking take it from him. It's like, all right, that's great. Just tackle him, damn it, tackle him, Jesus. 
But maybe we will uh, change the formation. Oh, fucking Christ. That's an automatic car right there. No? Gonna be nice to me? See, that's something too. I can't... Uh, I guess we do have hassle opponents on. Because we can't... We're not allowed to fucking do that. Remember, we're not allowed to close down. Forgot, forgot that this was on, that was on here in this formation. Oof. You see all those fucking players fall down the box there? <laughs> but anyhow, we at least have the first goal. Now, see this? I, I almost hate a one goal lead sometimes. I certainly hate a two goal lead. I hate a two goal lead at halftime. I really do. That's the hardest one for me personally to, to um, to hold on to, especially when we when we don't have all that great of players. Because I mean, it's especially and and when you're playing better opponents. I should say that when you're playing better opponents, a two goalie is so tough to hang on to. So, oof. I was hoping Virtanen would just like drop the ball or something there and give us an easy tap in. Of course, then we'd have ha, a two goal lead and the lead I fucking hate giving a team talk for against better opposition. Now, this is going to be the problem here. Is... <sighs> oh my. Oh, please. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yep. Osei just cannot buy a fucking goal, can he? Holy shit. Poor bastard. What, what, what the fuck are you doing? Rala just kind of stops and stands there. And just, fuck, I don't know what to do with it now. I wish you had a little bit more control. Oof. They're trying to tee somebody up there, but I couldn't figure out who the fuck they were trying to set up. Oh, fucking God. It scared me for a moment. Yeah, there you go. That's one thing, too. I kind of, um... Ooh. Oof. One thing, too, that's kind of been, um kind of been remedied with our newer formations is players kind of uh typically move with a purpose there's sometimes you can kind of with when your formation doesn't work right you can tell you know when your when your instructions aren't aren't working out too well because when they start being indecisive with the ball you know when they're not really kind of like this where they're running and then they stop like that that you know that can really really screw you sometimes i think i'm gonna take robbie off here at the half just because I'm not, I'm not particularly confident in our ability to close out with something without something catastrophic fucking happening. And see, like that right there, like that's a good pass right there. Even though you don't pass it forward or move forward, I like that pass. And that uh, right there isn't bad either. I don't mind that pass because see what it led to. It led to a halfway decent effort. Oh, oh god, we're getting corners out of this shit at least, and we're giving them some. We're giving them some, uh, some, something to think about. All right, so we have a one goal lead here going into the half. All right. I think I'm going to be nice, and I'm just going to tell them to keep it up. Because I think that's probably the best, the best course of action right now. And hoping to God I do need to do this, though. Arins, get out there and take off Robbie. That's all right, Arenz. You'll probably get another card yourself, just because the game is stupid. Oh boy, the passing hasn't been too bad. It took us a while to kind of get get going, but I mean, the passing hasn't been terrible. I'm pretty happy about that. Ugh. See, like that right there, like forcing them into long clearances is really what we want. We don't want them to have opportunities, and that's one of the things that this formation does. Oh my lord. One of the things that this formation does, since there are so many players forward, we kind of um, are able to close down in their, you know, their third of the pitch usually. At least give them something to not really freak out about, but give them a reason to clear the ball along. Now, obviously, when the passes are off like that, it's pretty easy for them to come over and, and clear that shit out. But, like I said, um, I think I've kind of stabilized this formation a little bit. I did actually 
Did I, did I make those changes? I can't remember if I did or not. I think I did. Let me actually, you know what? I can check right now. Mm, yes, I think I did. Yeah, I did. I took the um, uh, the 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 place where I got this formation. Um, they they have like a running blog and they kind of just you know post shit and they've kind of posted like several different versions of this formation and one of them was a basically a defensive fix for it you know because the other one was as we've known already pretty crappy in terms of this is going to be a goal for them he's just going to float that fucker in isn't he see and that's where having that young crappy goalkeeper oh fucking hell Bachman really at least he stops the play though well, that's where having that young inexperienced terrible goalkeeper comes into play oof let's start defending isn't terrible today though so now here's the question should we ever when should we if ever change our formation because things are working well not working too bad honestly but eh. It's this part right up here. I mean, we're kind of because we're not very good. We don't have a whole lot of pace up front. Like, yeah, we're kind of getting stretched. And now Hoglum just got a card for like his second foul in the whole fucking game. Which irritates the fucking hell out of me. Oof, Yala. And that wasn't terrible at all. Now was it? I think we'll wait till about that 70 minute mark again. That's what we did in the last match to change our formation. <laughs> oh wow just wow I mean okay I'm gonna I'm gonna start fucking bitching now because I'm getting tired of this shit I really am I mean why so many fucking cards holy shit I mean it just gets so irritatingly old after a while I mean it really really fucking does I mean it just I'm sorry I mean I'm not trying to be a dick or anything but it's just like you know after a while you just get tired of it and that's probably where we're, where we're gonna stop that right there we will both say well there although they're about the score aren't they yeah just fucking about holy shit See, this is one of those things like, yeah, there's not much we can fucking do. Fucking Tuco, fuck this guy. See, so, yeah, I think uh, I think putting extra bodies in midfield is probably the better, better course of action right now. Because we're really not beating them to anything in open field, meaning we're not getting to the ball first in any challenges or anything like that. I mean, we're not really utilizing the space very well, in all honesty. And here's another card. See, I fucking told you. Arenza just go right out there and just get a card. See, like I said, this is just the fucking shit that irritates the hell out of me. I mean, all of a sudden, you know, shit just starts going wrong. Everyone starts getting cards. Just clear the fucking thing, man. Jesus. I thought, we, I thought for sure we were going to have a fucking penalty there. And now, uh, ooh. Thank God they can't finish today. Hmm. Yeah, we're just going to pull Ose now. There's no point keeping him on. Keeping him on. And drop Remasaho in there. He's playing like shit and he's got a card, so... He had a few he had a few quality chances though, and that's the fucking problem. It's just like Hey look at that! They got a card. They got a card. It's about time. It's their first card of the game. I'm so proud of them. I mean now they're now they're part of the club. Now they're part of the fucking shit tastic club that we are where, you know, every time we fucking breathe and you're a player, it's a fucking yellow. I'm sorry, I'm just getting real tired of that. It's really starting to wear thin on me. I mean, it's just like, okay. Like I said, it's not just in this, on this save file either. I mean, it's it's poured over into my other one, and it's like a fucking disease. 
I mean, it's ridiculous. It really is. I mean, okay, you're going to have those dumb challenges and those dumb fouls that are clear fouls. Okay, yeah, I get that. That's fine. But, like, then, like I said, I mean, you close, you fucking close people down and they're all over your shit. And then there's, the, oh, my God, Oris. How in the fuck? You know, his, his, his match rating is appropriate. He's played pretty well for us. Gonna play two man ball over there, just he's way off sides. Or not. That's cool, I suppose. Right? Oh my god. 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 Good stuff by Arins though. Holy shit. I mean that's that was a good a good passage of play there. Ended up in a good shot. Just Pawusu's not the guy you want to take it really. <laughs> See, and now we're kind of reduced to this playing, playing like prevent football, where we're, where we're just kind of shadowing their movements and trying to stay in front of them, instead of actually being allowed to tackle them and take the ball from them. But I mean, part of it, I guess, is just us being. Oh, ho, ho, my yes! Oh. Holy shit, hurrah. Don't know how we pulled that one off. But that was awesome. That was awesome. That was fucking awesome. That was great shit. Great shit. Oh, man. So now we can just close it down in the last 17 minutes here. Oh, you gotta clear that shit, though. They have not been very good finishing. I mean, if you just look at this, I mean, we've got 17 shots, 10 on target. That's pretty good. We've been, we've been pretty good offensively, quite honestly. I mean, it's, and they've been poor. In truth, I mean, like I said, I mean, only get, only get four on target. I mean, that's not, that's not good enough. At least not for them. I mean, in this sort of match, I mean, they need to get a little better. You know, they just need to. Like I said, I mean, we've 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 been pretty pretty fortunate though with some of those, like these, like those. I mean, that's we'll take those all day. I mean, if you're gonna shoot from there, it's gonna be a long shot and it's gonna be a tough shot. And like I said, those are probably the ones that. That, that I thought they were likely to score on because they would be long shots and like I said they're better players and if they're able to get any any sort of venom on a shot like that that would really give us oof oh my god Harala going for the hat trick I mean like I said that's what I thought would, would screw us because especially if in, in like a low like, like kind of a defensive game where neither of us make a lot of opportunities which we made way more opportunities than I thought we would in truth, he's offsides. Yeah, that's what I thought. That happens a little too often, in my honest opinion. Them being offsides like that, it's pretty much a given. I mean, like, a good 80% of the time, they're always offsides. See, we're not reacting to the ball very well in this match. Ugh. And he just got sent off. That's a professional foul. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. And who do we have uh, on? Okay, we can guess we can dump. Oh, okay, I guess we can put Oyala or Hinkula back up. Or Hinkula on. Fucking idiot. We'll see how this pans out. The one thing that I don't like is this shit takes fucking forever for this to resolve. It's like, come on. Sometime today. Lucky for me, I saved a fucking uh, substitution. Although we would have been alright with Bachman back there, but that's what we're gonna do. It's so one thing I also like about this formation is you can sacrifice 
you know, if if you have a red, you're kind of sacrifice. I mean, you can sacrifice the striker, if you will, the the attacking midfielder. And foundationally, I mean, we're not going to create hard, we're not going to create any chances here to score. I can tell you that right now. But I mean, it, defensively, we're still halfway decent. I mean, and that's one thing I really like. Just run after, just give give him something to think about. That's all you got to do. There you go. Plus, it eats up time and forces him to build from all the fucking way back here. And then he's got to do that, which we do that. See, look at that. See, that's how you play that sort of shit. Put pressure on the keeper. Not really the keeper, but the fucking play. And see, like this, too. I mean, sure, we don't have that. Ooh. Wonderful pass. Just shoot it from there. You ain't got any other choice. And you get a corner out of it. Nice. But anyway, like I said, not not terrible. I guess we'll, we'll we'll see if that professional foul will give us, or I should say, not really professional foul, but we'll see if that foul will give us uh, will pan out. Looks all right so far. I mean, like I said, we're killing time pretty well, and we're down a man, and we got the confidence from the two goals. So now we can actually stand around and hold onto the ball a while, especially when they're giving us space. Nice. Oh my lord. Is Harala going to complete the hat trick? No. Almost. He deserves it though. He's been fucking phenomenal. That second goal was, was good though. I didn't I didn't think we had that sort of close control in us, but... You know, it's, it seems to work, work itself out sometimes. Like I said, finals for me personally, I tend to do pretty well in finals. I mean, you get me here, you know, it's, it's going to be pretty easy. At least for me, at least it feels easier. Getting here is always the hard part. And those, it's it's I should say it's much easier to get a good performance out of your club once you get to a final than it is to get to the final, get get through those performances in route to one. At least in my honest opinion. But anyhow, and you should blow the whistle. There we go. Well, that is our first silverware. So, um, yeah, I really don't know what else to say about that. I'm pretty happy with it. Won't really mean much, um, financially, I don't think. It's not going to be, it's not going to yield mountains of cash and, and really get us moving, but, um, rep-wise, it'll help a little bit. It'll help, uh, us personally, the ma as the manager, it will, it will help us, um, Uh, in the long run with with rep and all that good shit so um and of course you know the the club will get a little bit of that bump as well but the biggest increase will be in us because the club already had it already had a big rep increase being moved up to the new division plus during professional they've gotten a pretty big bump and and rep over the last season and now finally the manager can get a little bit of something so but anyway um yeah, so uh, hopefully we can carry that on to uh, carry that on, uh, continue our um, success here in the forthcoming season. Um, yeah, I, like I said, I didn't really expect to get anything out of that. Um, I honestly thought we were out when we landed in 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 the in third in the group, but we got uh, we got out of there unscathed. I thought they only had two knockout rounds. That's why. Because I think what well, we had four groups, so I figured, like whoever made like the first round, like you know, were the four teams that went into the draw, and then they knocked each other out, and then whoever won out of those were going to be um, playing for the league cup. But anyway, we got out of there with a win, and that's awesome. And I'm pretty happy. So anyhow, um, that does it for this episode. Um, so yeah next episode uh we do have i should update you on that um we do have another friendly left i think that's the last one nope two friendlies um and then the finnish premier league versus honka so that's where we'll pick it up in the finnish premier league as long as nothing else just fucking pops up and we get tossed into some other uh competition but anyway um like i said that does it for this episode 
Um, you made this on YouTube. You know what to do. Thanks a lot for watching, and bye.